Welcome to Vive Business Plus. This tutorial video is aimed at brand new users of Vive Business Plus, which I may also refer to as VB Plus. In this video, I'll guide you through the initial setup process. VB Plus is designed to streamline your Vive's device management, making it easier than ever to deploy and manage your VR, MR, or XR devices. In this video, you will learn 1. How to sign up and create an organization for VB Plus. 2. How to register your devices with BWS. 3. How to enroll your devices. 4. How to create a device group. 5. How to do batch configuration. Get started with Vive Business Plus by opening your web browser and going to the Vive Business Plus website. Then sign in using your HTC account. If you don't have an HTC account, create one by clicking here. Then, you'll need to create an organization to manage your fleet of devices and set permissions. Click Create New Organization. You can choose from three organization tiers, Standard, Pro, or Ultimate. Standard offers basic remote device management and kiosk mode, while Pro and Ultimate have all the standard features plus additional advanced device management features. The LBSS feature is only available in the Pro and Ultimate tiers. Check the available features for each. Then click Select under the type of organization you want. If you're not sure which tier to choose, reach out to us. Click Try it under Ultimate to test drive all the available features for free for 30 days. After the end of the trial, you can upgrade to one of the organization tiers and keep all your current data. Next, you'll need to create an HTC ID. An HTC ID lets you connect with other enterprise services and link your organizations. Click Create HTC ID. Enter the necessary information and click Create and then select it in the HTC Organization screen. Enter the name for your organization and depending on the tier you've chosen, enter the activation code or device serial number. For the activation code, check the email you used when you created your HTC account, read the terms and conditions agreement, and select I have read and accept the agreement. Then click Apply. After creating your organization, select it and then click Enter. You'll then be taken to the Vive Business Plus dashboard. Now, you'll need to register your devices with Vive Business and Warranty Services so you can use Vive Business Plus to manage them. Click BWS on the left panel and then click Register. Select Normal. If your devices have already been activated, select Pre-activated. Reach out to your HTC contact to check if your devices have been pre-activated. Choose how you want to register your devices. If you're registering several devices, select multiple so you can register all your devices at the same time. Download the template, enter the necessary information for each, and then upload the template back to Vive Business Plus. After registering your devices with BWS, you can now enroll them to Vive Business Plus. To enroll your devices, you'll need to create a QR code first. On the left panel, Click Manage Devices, and then select Devices. In the upper right, click Enroll. Enter the necessary device information in the Wi-Fi access point settings. Then click Enroll. You'll see a QR code appear on screen. You'll now use the headset to scan the QR code to enroll it. Turn on your headset and put it on. Once you're wearing the headset, Press the headset button three times in succession to enable QR code scanning. If you're already using the device, go to Settings, Advanced, MDM, QR code. Look at the QR code on your computer screen using the headset and that will scan the QR code. You'll then see a message saying the enrollment was successful. Enroll your other devices by scanning the QR code and following the same steps. You can now take advantage of the powerful and extensive device management features of Vive Business Plus. Here are some of the features that make Vive Business Plus a robust device management tool. 
Once you've enrolled your devices, you can set up groups of devices. This can be helpful for organizing a group of your device's settings and monitoring them. To create a group, navigate to Groups under Manage Devices on the left panel, and then click the Create button. You can choose whether the group is for the Vive XR Elite or the Vive Focus Series. You'll be asked to provide a group name, along with other settings, which you can adjust later if needed. Note, you can add devices into a group while you enroll the devices. In the group, you can easily monitor each device's status and initiate group settings in ROM, Configuration, Map, and Files. ROM is your device's software version. Configuration is a package that can customize your all-in-one VR headsets to cater to your business needs. Map is the environment information you wish to provide. Files are the apps or media you wish to put into each headset in the group. For more details about group management, please refer to the support page to learn more. Now, let's guide you to another popular feature, batch configuration. While we covered enrolling devices, VB Plus offers a powerful feature called batch configuration. This allows you to configure settings for multiple devices simultaneously, saving you significant time and effort. The customized settings include installing apps, LBSS settings, and enabling kiosk mode, all at once remotely. Let's get started. Access Batch Configuration. On the left menu, navigate to the Batch Configuration section under Manage Devices. Create a new configuration package. Click the Create button. Select the device type you want to configure from the drop-down menu. Provide package information. In the Information tab, Give your batch configuration package a name and add any relevant notes. Customize package settings. Explore the different tabs, system preferences, library, kiosk mode, advanced, and developer to customize your package settings. These tabs allow you to configure various aspects of your devices, such as Wi-Fi settings, app installations, and user restrictions. Save your package. Once you've finished customizing your package, Click the Create button to save it. Assign the configuration package to a group. Now that you've created your configuration package, it's time to apply it to a group of devices. 1. Select the group. In the Group section under Manage Devices, choose the group you want to configure. 2. Access Group Settings. Click on the group to open its properties, then select Settings. 3. Assign the configuration package. In the Batch Configuration section, click Edit. Then select the configuration package you created. 4. Save Changes. Remember to click Save to apply the changes. Once the devices in the group connect to the internet, they will automatically begin installing the new configuration. If you need to initiate the process manually, you can click the Sync Device Properties button on the Devices tab. By assigning configuration packages to groups, you can efficiently manage settings for multiple devices simultaneously. Conclusion Congratulations! You've now learned how to sign into VB+, create an organization, add devices, generate QR codes, enroll devices, set up groups, and do batch configuration. VB Plus is a powerful tool that can help you manage your VR devices more efficiently. With VB Plus, there are many more features, including Reduce setup time with map sharing Share maps with other users, eliminating the need to create new maps from scratch. This significantly reduces setup time for new VR experiences. Content delivery made easy Deliver content directly to your devices through the VB Plus system. This ensures all your devices have the latest content, streamlining updates, and content distribution. Enhanced monitoring with global casting. Allow LBE users to stream player views through online or the intranet. This enables you to monitor and troubleshoot player issues remotely, improving overall efficiency. We'll cover some more advanced features in another video. For now, you can explore the full list of features in the VB Plus product page or contact your dedicated support PM.
If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our support team. We're happy to help.